Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So last week I gave a brief lecture on uh, what is exposure triangle. I hope you have watched it and you have liked it a lot. So in today's lecture we will be talking about the concept of three point lighting system. So three point lighting system is basically a lighting technique that we use in uh, photography and cinematography. So before we dive deep into the concept of three point lighting system we will first discuss the various types of light as we all know that in photography light is one of the most important element because without light we cannot achieve the process of storytelling so light is mainly divided into two types one is natural light and one is artificial light so natural light basically includes the light that we get from nature which includes sunlight moonlight and all and the other one is artificial light which basically includes the light that we use or that we get artificially like tube light studio lights bulb halogen lights etc now uh, whenever we are shooting anything outside like product shoot commercial shoots then we are taking the help of natural light but what if we, are, we have to do the same thing inside a studio? In that case, we need to rely on artificial light. And that is where the concept of three-point lighting system comes. So what is three-point lighting system? It is a lighting system which is used for illuminating a subject in a scene with light sources coming from three distinct positions. So basically, what this definition means to say is that whenever we are shooting something, say for example if we are taking a portrait shoot or if we are doing any ad and all. So in a studio we basically use this concept that is three point lighting system where we basically try to illuminate the object in a manner that is used to basically convey a certain mood or a feeling. So it is mainly used in news interview, portrait photography, commercials etc. So, now what is this three-point lighting? What are the various elements in it? So, the main element includes the key light, the fill light and the backlight. Now, we will explain all these three lights in detail. So, what is key light? So, in three-point lighting system, the key light is one of the most important source of light because it is a key light only that is used to illuminate an object properly. It is this key light only that plays a very important role in making the object look more impactful. So whenever we are setting up a three-point lighting system in our studio, then we need to make sure that the key light which we are arranging has to be positioned at an angle of 45 degrees towards the subject that we want to illuminate. And it should be, and it is also the brightest source of light among all. Next we have the fill light. So, the main work of fill light is basically to filter the incoming shadows that is coming from the key light because when the key light is illuminating the object, then it is obviously creating shadow at one part. Like if we are keeping the key light to the left, then obviously it is creating a shadow to the right of the subject. So, what fill light does is it basically filters the shadow so that uh, one part of the subject doesn't appear dark because of shadows and uh, this should be 50% less the brightness I mean to say it should be 50% less than that of key light so that uh, the so that we are able to dis we are able to uh, differentiate the subject that we are illuminating properly instead of making it uniform and it should always be kept at the opposite direction of key light. Say, for example, if we are placing the key light to the left, then the fill light should be kept to the right. And as I as I mentioned over here, it should always be kept at the front of the character. Both fill light as well as the key light should always be placed at the front of the characters because these two lights play a very important role in creating the impact that we want to achieve. And the last is uh, backlight so backlight as it as the word says is basically a light light that is used to separate the subject or the object from the background because when 
after we have illuminated our subject with key light and field light what happens is the back of the sub the back of the subject basically merges with the background so what backlight does is it basically illuminates the back of the subject so that it doesn't get merged with, with the background so it ensures that the subject is properly illuminated from behind as i've already mentioned that is what backlight does and this is the least bright light uh, sorry uh, backlight should be the least uh, sorry extremely sorry yeah. the brightness should be 20 percent of it it should neither be too bright nor be too dark like it should be kept neutral the brightness should always be kept neutral because if we keep it too bright then the uh, object or the subject which we are trying to shoot will appear somewhat uh, too bright from the back and too dark from the front so backlight should always be positioned behind this object or the character so this is how the overall three point lighting system setup looks in front a camera will be placed then we will have the key light which is the main source of light for the object then we have the fill light which fills the incoming shadows created by the key light and at the end we have the backlight that basically helps the subject and the background separate instead of getting merged so in different setups like if we are taking an interview or if we are taking a product photo shoot or if we are doing commercials three point lighting system may like how we are using it how we are positioning may differ but the overall agenda is the same that is to illuminate any subject that we were trying to shoot in a artificial studio setup so that is all about three point lighting system i hope you have understood the basic concept of what three point lighting system is so if you have liked this video then do give a like and if you have any doubts or if you want to share anything with me then you can feel free to write it under the comment section and if you have really really liked this video then do share it among your friends and also don't forget to subscribe my channel so that you can get to know more videos on education and everything so that's all for the day thank you very much and uh, have a nice day and see you all in the next video